Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a knife video for you. This is something truly spectacular. A few, a few months back, I shared with you the Riot Knives Augustus, which was a production version, a high-end production version, granted, of this. This is the real deal. This is a Kirby Lambert Custom Augustus. And you know, this is a knife that I would probably never get a chance to handle left to my own devices. But thankfully, once again, like with the Oz that uh, you've probably seen a video on already, this was sent to me by Skylar, a fellow knife enthusiast and common lender of knives and supporter of the channel. Uh, this thing is truly spectacular. So Skylar, thank you for letting me check this out. Kirby Lambert is on my very short list of favorite designers and, and I'm not a custom knife guy. You know, I think I could probably count on one hand. If I won the lottery, there are only about five custom knives that I would buy and one of them would be a Lambert. Okay. So uh, I think that should tell you what I think of of his work. Uh, he is a fellow Canadian, and of course, he's extremely well known and recognized and acknowledged in the knife community for these spectacular knives, and this one is no exception. So let's give you a quick rundown here. We have a San Mai blade, Damascus, with a core of stainless steel. I'm not sure if it's AEBL or exactly what the core is. I know sometimes they're AEBL, but I'm not going to even try. Look at the work there. Absolutely gorgeous. I do know that Kirby Lambert works a lot with Chad Nichols. So if you want to figure out specifically what this is, or if you want to put that down in the comments, feel free to do so. But I'm going to wager a guess and say that this is probably sourced from Chad Nichols and uh, that it's, you know, it's obviously some kind of San Mai. So beautiful, beautiful blade here. Um, we have, like on the Riot, of course, not, uh, not the same in that uh, Kirby Lambert has done all this work himself, which is, it's staggering to think about. Um, we have a hollow grind here, followed up with a flat grind at the tip, a nice top swedge with a clip point. I love looking at the back of this knife. Look, you can see the core there. So awesome. A uh, little bit of a thumb rest right here along with a jimped thumb ramp. Plunge grind down here is done very nicely. And really, really cool touch. That Damascus sort of carries its way on down to the flipper tab. Beautiful, beautiful blade. Now this is functional. We talked about this in my review of the Augustus. Uh, really, really nicely done. When you're doing any kind of regular cutting task, you get the thinness behind the edge and the slicing power of a hollow grind, which is fantastic. But then you get the toughness and durability out at the tip where you want it because, man, I would not want to drop this knife. Now, I guess the one good thing, there are multiple good things about customs. One, they, they're special, they're unique, um, but generally speaking, and certainly with Kirby Lambert, you get really, really good support. So if something were to happen to this knife, you know that Kirby's going to be there to back up what he's done. And, you know, yeah, it's going to cost you something, but you can, you can actually use in many ways a custom knife with more confidence than you can a production knife, knowing that there's a guy out there who made this, right, who could do it again, who knows how to, how to put it back to its original form. And that's really, really cool. All right, let's carry on here down to the rest of the knife. And primarily here, we're talking about features. So we've got this beautiful Mokotai bolster milled pocket clip which look just spectacular and i have to tell you guys the lighting in here is not doing this justice i've tried a couple of different configurations and this is about the best i can get what you really want to do to get the full effect of this fantastic material is number one clean off your fingerprints and hand oils which will make a bit of a difference but actually if you take it outside uh, and look at it in natural light you can really, really notice a difference. But for now, I hope you're getting some appreciation. Look at this looks amazing. Let's move this down here. There you go. So you're sort of seeing down there just how beautiful that uh, Mokotai really, really is. 
Um, custom pivot here. Now this is the same pivot, interestingly enough, that was available on the production, which I think is a great touch that Riot is able to, what, carry over one small feature here. Beautiful anodized hardware. Now I think some of the more current models of this will have hidden hardware. Uh, again, I'm not a huge custom guy, but you can correct me if I so you can correct me if I'm wrong. Really nice blue anodized hardware, carbon fi fiber. <laughs> wow, carbon fiber for the main scale, and then these nicely anodized titanium liners. Very very thick titanium liners here with standoffs at the back. Now again, this is available with various different features. I've seen some with floating backspacers. I've seen a couple of different things uh, on custom Augustus knives. So really, really cool knife. Now, I'm not gonna get into size and weight. Uh, you know, go watch my Riot uh, Augustus video if you wanna know those numbers, but it's a, a substantial knife, right? Eight and a half inches overall, three and a half inch blade, uh, big, big, you know, this is not this is not a small knife. Very fidget friendly. And again, you know, the the attention to detail and just making sure that things are absolutely dialed in is one of the benefits. And I know you get that benefit with a lot of high end production knives as well. Uh, but really, really something special to handle a knife that has been put together by a craftsman rather than just cranked out of an assembly line. So I know that these custom knives are not for everybody and they're not for me either, right? There's, there's no way in the world that I would ever go and buy this knife. It would be like the cost of half my collection, but that doesn't mean that I don't enjoy it and I can't appreciate why someone would. This is truly beautiful and, it, and it's a real experience just to hold this and in fact I have to tell you guys I've shared this with a couple of my non-knife friends and they're like can I take a picture of it just to put on Instagram <laughs> and I'm like you're just doing by instinct whatever <laughs> they don't even know what you're supposed to do with this but they get that you want to take a picture and show people how cool this looks and it really does look amazing um Huge fan of Kirby Lambert, so it's a real honor to get to handle this. Skylar, thank you so much for sending it along. And one of the great things about doing this, you know, making these videos, I, I enjoy talking about knives and I enjoy interacting with you guys. That's the reason I do it. But boy, it's a really nice benefit to be able to, from time to time, check out something as cool as this. And, and a number of you watching I know have sent me stuff and I just know that I always really, really appreciate it. I do. So uh, there's a quick look, I, you know, and I'm not gonna get into specs and you know, I, most of you watching I know are not going to, to buy one of these. Uh, if you are gonna buy a ca custom knife, you could do a lot worse than Kirby Lambert. So yeah, definitely if, if a custom knife is in the cards for you, boy, I, as I said, there are very few custom knives that I even want, but Kirby Lambert is one of them. So thanks a lot, Skylar, for sending this along. Thank all of you. Thanks to all of you for watching and for your continued support. We will talk to you soon.